Good morning. I just arrived at my body pump class, my strength training class. I'm happy I made it. I'm like just on time. Leaving this morning was pretty rough. I almost didn't make it, but we're here. Gonna have a good workout, get the day started. And I don't do this often. I just come twice a week. So on these days, like I really cherish these workouts. start this vlog today by talking a little bit about my hair care routine I just washed my hair so it's nice and fresh and I only wash it twice per week so I love this feeling but I've been doing a few things differently lately and I feel like my hair is really thriving I've very much been on a hair growth journey as well since having my daughter she is now a year and two and a half months so almost a year and three months old and around this time last year when she was like four months old I really noticed a lot of hair shedding it's your hormones adjusting and that can take a big toll on your hair as well and it's not fun <laughs> like postpartum like in and of itself is so challenging of course you have so much love for your child but it's a very like shocking Thing, at least it was for me all the changes that you experience in your body and my hair definitely took a toll but right now I feel like my hair really does look a lot better I've had so much regrowth you can see it a lot in these parts like all of these hairs here were really really short like everything around my hairline and even just overall like on the back of my hair I feel like now my hair is a lot thicker it's very exciting to see this change in my hair so I want to share a few of the things that have really helped me for me it really comes down to two category so the first is nurturing really strong hair from within giving your body the right building blocks to actually create that healthy hair that starts from your scalp and then the second being actually taking care of the hair that you have preventing it from breaking off which will also make your hair feel and look thinner just really caring for the health of the strands so I want to talk about a few of my favorite products that I'm using the shampoos conditioners leave-in treatments and all of that so firstly let's chat about supporting new hair growth and giving your body those good building blocks so that it can go and make those healthy strong hair strands so our hair is primarily made of keratin which is actually a kind of protein I've definitely upped my protein and just balanced out my diet a lot in the last few years you guys know I also started working out consistently again since having my daughter I started that in the beginning of the summer I started focusing more on weightlifting I went back to my body pump classes which I love and that that really got me motivated to include more protein in my diet as well to support my muscles my recovery the muscle strength and growth I feel like that had such a positive effect on my hair health as well of course also having a diet rich in healthy vitamins and fiber and antioxidants all of those things getting those through fruits and vegetables those are really important as well for hair growth and of course with this as well I think it's so important to look at your overall lifestyle your stress your sleep your movement throughout the day getting your blood going these are all things that we know are good for our bodies and for our health I definitely think that has a huge effect too on not only like your skin health but definitely your hair health and that's something that I also noticed when I did start working out more consistently again secondly I started taking a hair growth supplement I started this back in March so it's been about six months this is from Nutrafol and I heard so many good things about this I really wanted to find the best hair Hair growth supplement I did so much research before I started taking this and I can definitely say that this has improved my hair growth it's visibly thicker and it just looks so good what I love about this is that it's 100% drug-free it's made with natural ingredients like ashwagandha marine collagen peptides salt palmetto curcumin and I think the reason it works so well is because it targets multiple reasons of thinning from within such as stress hormones, metabolism, nutrition, aging. It's also the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand. Plus it's clinically proven to support hair growth. 90% of women saw overall improvement in their hair after six months and 84% saw less shedding after six months. So this works. It's also won multiple awards in the beauty space. It's won Allure's Best of Beauty, Harper's Bazaar Hair Awards, Women's Health Awards, and lots more. And because 
the ingredients are so holistic they also just make you feel really good again ingredients like ashwagandha can help to support your stress levels your sleep and the benefits are not just limited to the hair on your head but also for your lashes your brows they also have formulas if you are postpartum and still breastfeeding they have formulas for men too which Mo is taking he's been really happy with the results too I just take this daily after I have my breakfast so it's been very easy to integrate this into my routine and yeah six months later I definitely notice a difference in my hair health and I would highly highly recommend not just if you are postpartum but if you're really looking to increase the strength of your hair your hair thickness going from within and nurturing that healthy hair growth is everything if you guys want to try this as well you can click the link down below and you will save $50 off your first three months it's really important as with any lifestyle change to be consistent and to keep Keep providing your body with those good building blocks so they're offering $50 off your first three months just visit the link down below in the description box and the offer will be applied so nourishing yourself from within providing your body with those good building blocks to create good hair and focusing on having an overall healthy lifestyle that is going to be so huge and then the second really important thing is caring for the hair that I already have I try to be really mindful of not breaking my hair so breaking the strength which will also of course lead to hair fall and just make your hair feel thinner with that said I do love to highlight my hair I just love the way that a little bit of nuance and brightness in my hair I love how that looks but it is of course really damaging but when Mo and I do my color we always use a toner and a gloss that helps to sort of repair and close back up the hair cuticles a little bit from the damage of the color and the bleach I think that has been really helpful too. but outside of that I've been doing some things that I think really help even if I do color my hair so one of the new things that I started doing a few months ago is I switched to a bonding repair shampoo and conditioner so these are called the acidic bonding concentrate this is the conditioner and the shampoo this is from Redken again I did so much research into this like really trying to find what is the best shampoo and conditioner to strengthen your hair when you do have a colored or bleached and so much came up about using bonding repair products that help to seal the bonds essentially that are within our hair and to smooth the cuticle and just to strengthen it overall because when we do use um, colors or even just when we are heat styling our hair with hot tools or a blow dryer that does cause a lot of damage to the actual hair strand and what bonding repair products will do is that they'll go in and fill the missing bonds and sort of straighten out and strengthen the hair and I found these to be so good for my hair and then I also use the acidic bonding concentrate leave-in treatment when I'm done in the shower I apply this when my hair is damp and this is a leave-in conditioner but it's also a heat protection plus it will also further work on repairing the bonds in your hair so I've really been enjoying this and then on occasion I will use a detox shampoo this is from Way. I only use this every few washes so maybe every like four washes or so and it really makes my hair feel so clean and it just gives it this beautiful bounce and lightweight feeling when I use this and then when I'm done blow drying my hair which I'll also talk about in a little bit I will put in an oil currently I'm using the gold blessed nourishing hair oil from Oribe this one is really nice but I have used a lot of different other ones in the past I'm not so specific on um, which kind I use I just want it to be something lightweight something to just smooth the hair a little bit give it a bit of shine and this does just that something I think is so important when it comes to caring for your hair is using a good hairbrush this is one that I discovered a few months ago and I'm absolutely obsessed with it and this actually conforms to the shape of your head so it's very movable it's so cool it feels so incredible to brush your hair with this like your scalp just feels so relaxed not only does it feel amazing on your head I feel like it's much better for your hair too because your hair is less likely to snag and to pull because of the shape of the brush I also love it because you can keep it really clean I love brushing my hair on my hair wash days again I only wash my hair twice a week so at the end of those few days my hair is definitely oily and I love to brush my hair especially on those days and really distribute all of the oils throughout my hair it helps to moisturize your hair and your scalp and also just to do like a little head massage is amazing but of course that means that your hairbrush will also 
also have a lot of those oils and build up within the bristles so when I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair I also wash my hairbrush I use this little round face brush this is really old it's probably like over 10 years old and I just use it to clean my brush and I go in little circular motions so when your hair is actually clean you are using a clean hairbrush as well I think that is so important okay just had to change my setup a little bit the Sun is out and bright so when it comes to drying my hair I like to use a round brush like this first I will actually brush and flip my hair over and I'll blow dry it upside down for like a minute or so to get it like 80% dry and just to give some volume and lift at the root and then I'll flip my hair back and I will go in with a round brush I will section my hair off in two pieces down below and then one piece here up in like the the crown of my head more so towards the front of my hair so I, I take about this much I'll show you guys here and this is my like quick mommy version of blow drying my hair so of course I have been through stages where I have much more time and I can section it off into more pieces and blow dry them you know a little bit more perfect but I have a limited amount of time I could take time to do that but I also have so many other things that I want to do with the time that I have so I try to be really efficient with my hair blow drying routine so I will take the round brush in those sections and I will blow dry and I'll keep turning the brush inwards like this to create a little bit of a bend of course the smaller sections that you take the more defined that bend will be using a round brush especially in the front portions of your hair like especially up here at the top is so pretty for getting that like nice like little flip here that you see something else I think is so important is also how you manage your hair day to day so most of the time my hair is clipped up in a bun I cook a lot I'm with Nalia a lot for the most part I need my hair to be up but using hair ties and elastics can actually damage your hair a lot by causing a lot of friction on the hair strand and also if it's too tight it can even cause the hair strand to snap off so what I love to do is take all of my hair up and I will twist it around like I'm making a bun and then instead of using an elastic to keep the bun in place I use a claw clip twisting your hair in this manner too will just give it a lot of bounce and volume and a nice wave so it's like a win-win-win I hope that you guys found some good tips or some helpful takeaways that you can try with your own hair care routine I'll make sure to have all of the products that I mentioned linked down below in the description box if you want to check anything out. Mm. I'm having this really yummy chia pudding as a snack right now and this is actually fall inspired it's a pumpkin spice chia seed pudding it's so delicious I topped it with some coconut yogurt and cinnamon and some crushed almonds Mm. Not only does it taste amazing, I love pumpkin spice. The chia seeds are really healthy. It's a great source of fiber, good omegas, but I've also included protein powder. So you're getting a great source of fiber, protein, good fats, and all of that pumpkin spice deliciousness. It's so nice and creamy, perfect as a snack or even as a dessert. What I love about this recipe is it gives you that fall experience with the pumpkin spice. It tastes so good, but it's literally so easy to make. Plus again, it's actually super healthy. So here's the recipe. Combine your plant-based milk of choice. I'm using oat milk with one scoop of protein powder. I love this one from Ritual. Then add two tablespoons of pumpkin puree, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and one teaspoon of maple syrup then combine then add in three tablespoons of chia seeds again mix then pour this into a jar I have two depending on the size of your jars cover with a lid and let it sit in the fridge overnight or for at least two hours enjoy as is or top with your favorite toppings I love coconut yogurt cinnamon and some crushed almonds it's so good as a healthy snack or even dessert We are at the park right now. Whenever I come here, I always feel so good. It feels like diving into an ocean 
of nature. All the leaves and the nature is just stunning. Some of you guys might know I used to come here and walk pretty much daily. I used to come for like an hour or so and walk and I would either just listen to nature or I'd put in a podcast or an audiobook and it was like my little connecting with nature moment for the day and I just loved it. I did that throughout my entire pregnancy too with Nalia and I did it too a little bit when she was a newborn. She would nap in the um, carrier on me or sometimes she would even nap in the stroller and that was so nice. And then she went through a phase where she just did not want to be in the stroller at all. And we're still kind of in that right now as she's learned how to walk like she just wants to be out and play which i totally get but on the occasion she will sit down in the stroller and we have these beautiful walks and now especially when it's just the most gorgeous gorgeous weather like it's so beautiful it just makes my heart so happy and also to be able to do it with her and she just chills in the stroller it's just such a nice moment Analia, you like being in the park you like it? All the colors? She's so cozy in her pink jacket. Hi, Nalia. What do the sheep say? Yeah. Little reminder to get outside and connect with nature. It's really so powerful. Oh, thank you. Hi, trees. Hello. Beautiful trees. 